have that one person in your life that you wish upon anything that would treat you the way that you want to be treated, that would see you and treat you like the king or queen that you are, that would be all in for you just like you're all in for them? Well, if that's the case, then this video is going to help you out because I'm going to give you all the, like, the tips and tricks that I have to get exactly that. So stick around. You're not going to want to miss it. Hi, everyone. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Matthew, and I'm here today to talk to you about how you can manifest someone being all in with you. But before we get into that, thank you for everyone that showed up to the live stream. We had a lot of fun. If you missed it, go back and watch it. The video is posted. Coaching services are below, and same with joining the membership. Now, with all that said, let's get into the video. My first step for manifesting someone being all in with you, and quite a crucial step that a lot of people miss, is... Become clear on what all in means to you. Does it mean that they text you all throughout the day? Does it mean that they massage you every single day? Does it mean that they post you all over their social medias? That they would leave their town to come be with you? What does all in mean for you? Because if you don't know and if you're general, you may not feel like you're getting what you want. You may They may be showing up for you in a way that would be all in, but it might not be the way that you want them to be because you haven't actually become clear on what all in actually means. So the first step would be to create 10, 20, 30, however many things that would imply to you that this person is all in with you and start working on creating the version of them that treats you in those ways. So if it's a new person, obviously you just start living in the end. Same with if it's an, uh, an ex, but it's obviously a slightly different thing. But if it's a new person, start seeing them as the version that treats you that way. That you're in that loving, passionate, healthy relationship that where you get the messages all throughout the day, where you get posted on social media or whatever it is, they have a pet name that you really, really like. Whatever is all in for you, see them as the version that treats you like that. And the best way to do so is to actually become clear on what those are. If it's for an ex, the same rules apply except for stop seeing them the way that you used to see them. Stop seeing them as the way that treats you the way that you don't want to be treated. And start seeing them as the version that treats you the way that you do want to be treated, which we'll be getting on to later another point. The second step is... Do you genuinely feel and see yourself to be worthy of someone being in all in on you? Do you think that you are the prize? Have you pedestalized yourself? Do you see yourself as the end goal for another individual? If yes, that's great. Keep working on it. Keep seeing yourself as a prize. Keep pedestalizing yourself because the more that you work on yourself with everyone pushed out, the more that they are going to see you as the prize and they're going to want, keyword want, to be in your life and to give you everything that they have. If you do not see yourself as that kind of individual, first off, identify why, because then it will help you work on it. So it might just be a case of you have abandonment issues from your childhood, or you have a lot of bad experiences in the past with men or women, and now you're like struggling with relationships going forward. Identify why you do not see yourself as the prize, and then flip those things so you then begin to. So if it's you feel like people don't love you because you aren't the most attractive, Start seeing yourself as someone that is highly attractive. Start affirming it, embodying the state of it, visualizing people telling you it. Whatever you have to do, get yourself to a point where you can sit there and say, I actually believe and feel and think that I am extremely attractive. And do that with every single thing that you think stops you from being worthy of someone being all in. And then just apply that to yourself and start really working on yourself. Start really seeing yourself as the prize. Start saying, of course, this person will want to be all in all on, be all in with me. Because I am this amazing, intelligent, attractive, funny, unique individual. And of course, I'm never going to find anybody that is anything like that. I am the one and only me and I am the most amazing person and they are lucky to have me in their life. They know they're lucky to have me in their life. They know that they need to give me their all to keep my attention because I am so highly sought after. That kind of stuff. You need to start really bigging yourself up. Start seeing yourself as someone that that person would go, I need to do everything I can to be with this person. And if I do not, then I'm going to miss my chance. Because everyone is you pushed out, so if you think that you are that individual, they will see you as that individual. So if you already have a good self-concept, keep working on it, you can always have a better one. If you have a poor self-concept, there's a couple of ideas going forward. Please work on your self-concept over anything because not only will it help build up your life and everything around you, but it will stop you from caring so much when shit goes wrong. I promise you that from my own personal experience, my self-concept now makes it so that I care very little about the things that do not show up for me, in, that show up for me in a way that I do not like. Work on your self-concept. They will reflect it. I can promise you that. Just keep at it. If you're enjoying this video so far, and if I've given you a couple of tips that help you out, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. We have a challenge where we're going to try and get to 2K subscribers by the 26th of June. It's one of those sort of like manifesting on a time crunch things that I'm actually doing to prove that you can do so. 
So please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And now let's go on to the final point. I've left this point for last because I genuinely feel that the other two points must come first before you start applying this one. You must become clear so that what you receive from your specific person is actually what you believe is all in. And you must work on yourself because not only does it help it come in easier, it helps it keep in easier, which means that when you do get your thing, you are less likely to lose it. But with those two said, the third and final point is to allow them to be all in on you. Too many times people are focusing too much on the 3D and saying, okay, well, they're acting like this, or we don't even know each other yet, or they're just, they live so far away. And they're creating reasons as to why this person cannot be all in with them before they've even actually allowed it to happen. Everything is yours already. If you can imagine it, you can have it. Everything is happening right now. You just bring it to your imagination. So there is no possible way that you cannot have this thing. There is not a universe out there, besides maybe if this person's dead, where you cannot have this. And even then, necrophilia is a thing. Go have fun. <laughs> um, but there is no possible way that you could not have this person. Stop creating reasons why you cannot have this person. Stop assuming that your circumstances is any different to anybody else's or any harder than anybody else's. All you've got to do is live in the end of this individual. Like, if it is texting you all the time, just live in the end of you guys having amazing conversations all throughout the day. If it's massages, live in the end of you having massages from this person. If it's being posted on their social media, live in the end of being posted on their social media. It is that simple. And then what you do, once you've done your scene, your affirmations, your script, whatever it is that you like to do, stop creating reasons why this can't happen. Stop creating fake scenarios where something else happens that you don't like. You are the operant power. You, can, you hold accountability for your life. You are also the one creating reasons why it can't happen. No one else. I'm not coming into your life saying, oh, no, they live far away. Maybe you should just go off to someone else. Even people that I've had that I've tried to coach that have been really, really adamant that their circumstances is the worst. I've always said, you can have this. You can have this. You just got to do like this, this, and this. Because I don't believe that there is a circumstance out there that stops you from having your person. You are the only one creating those circumstances that stops you from having that person. So allow them to come in. Stop admitting defeat before you've even properly tried. Live in the end of being of them being all in after becoming clear on what all in means and just dwell in that. Live in that end. That is all you have to do. I really hope this video has helped. I hope like I, I hope you like the structure as well. I've decided that I'm going to try structuring my videos a little bit differently. So I really hope, let me know if you do like it. Um, like, comment, subscribe, like I said before. It really helps the channel out. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.